Welcome back to the channel and welcome to something completely different today. So I've been speaking to quite a few people lately that are fairly new to Fallout or at least new to Fallout building. So I thought, what I thought I would do is I would show you how you can quickly just convert an existing house into something like this. So I'm going to call this the Soul Survivor's House. And um, I'm going to take you through in a reasonable amount of detail just what I've done here um, to give you some ideas for your own build. So what you will see in this build is lots and lots of layers of different things. Um, you could just put junk walls around it or whatever, but it's much more interesting if you kind of layer it here. And you can see there's a junk wall, corner junk wall here, and I've added a whole lot of scrappy items to give it points of interest so I'm going to do some transitional uh, points at various points of this build just to give you an idea what the difference is so that's our junk wall door and I've actually used a couple of um, pieces just to, to build that up this is kind of three layers there's a mesh fence there there's a wooden fence and then there's some concrete barriers and there's a provisioner in the way so <laughs> i can't give you the, the overview please move um you can't give it the overview of the building until he moves there you go he's gone now you can see the overall kind of look so we'll have a look down the side just to refresh your memory there isn't much down here it's pretty scrappy um, you know you have your white picket fence there not much in the back yard and not much down the side so let's see what we just we done with this and again i've employed the same kind of technique down the side here added a few items in and um, used these um, mesh fences again but also used junk fences and sunk them into the ground and um, just add some additional depth so you can only see part of the junk fences poking up there. Lots of different items. If you haven't checked out my um, video that where I talk about ideas for making settlement fences, I'll leave a link here. And you can see, even though I've used some mods in this, some junk wall fence mods, I've then added other pieces to them. And um, just to give it, as I said, more and more depth in the build so okay let's go inside and see what we've done um, at least for the, the exterior outside so originally there's a oh, rag roach originally there was just a car here you, you know you had to actually wander around the outside of that car to go around to the backyard um, but not much under here but a lot of potential heck of a lot of potential So there's only kind of dog house and that's it. If you if you lose dog meat, if you send dog meat back to sanctuary and looking for him, that's one location he might be in that dog house there. So let's run round at the front again and we'll show you the transformation. So I put one of these chain link fence doors in. Now I had a bit of an issue where I put some decoration in, so I have to go down low and just have a look at the difference. Taking the car out and just added a whole lot of um, elements, and I'll I'll walk fairly slowly through this so you can kind of absorb all the details here. And the story, the, the backstory of the, the person that lives here is really so survivor um, has learned to go out and repurpose you know sc scavenge sc scavenge uh, items in the Commonwealth and repurpose them and build this little um, fortress for himself little secure house and so because he is a bit of a scavenger there is lots and lots of bits and pieces lying all over the place almost like a hoarder if you like now for some reason I came over here when I was decorating and Mama Murphy appeared in this corner and I couldn't get rid of her but she's gone now um, I think she might have been having one of her trips or something <laughs> I'm not sure 
I used makeshift furniture in this build for the first time. Thank you to Darth Zion for um, alerting me to that mod. It's a great little mod. And this table I'm standing on now is from there. But it also inspired me to make um, my own scrappy furniture. And when we go inside, I will show a few examples of what I've done. Um, so here we are. Here's the workshop area here. Looks like he's got a 10 milli. This, um, he's working on a 10 millimeter. Or he's got it in parts there for some reason. Maybe he's making his own gun. So he's got a nice little workshop area. Um, lots and lots of items. It took a while to really decorate this, but I wanted to highlight this just to show you the what you can actually do and I, I didn't scrap anything in this house I left mo pretty much everything in here so I'm just going to show you inside in the front area here to pay special attention to some of the items that are lying around and um, because I do change things around a little bit with my build here we go so I boarded up some of the wall windows but not all of them and some of the walls and not all of them so here we go here's the main area in here and you can see it's just, there is just stuff everywhere um, I did find a mod from workshop rearranged which has ceiling boards now so I was able to board up a few of the gaps in the in the roof to keep it secure you can see those lounges and the seats haven't moved I've just added lots of little bits I did a little bit of a coffee table in there a few odds and ends the kitchen's changed quite a bit and again this is influenced by makeshift furniture um, mod there is no power to this house none at all and I'm going to keep it like that I've got a bit of uh, plywood pulled the um, stove and whatever across and made a little table out of it the biggest change is up in this top corner there though and actually made this bed here see there's a ladder supporting it in a box a couple of pieces of ply and a lounge pretty easy to do guys he has his sniper rifle he's ready just in case he needs to be right next to his bed uh, but yeah have a go at building some of your own furniture it's real fun real real fun and he's a bit of a um, silver shroud fun Okay, there we go. Now, one of the things I did find during this build, you will see there's a um, there's a dinner tray in the hallway there. When you're putting stuff down, some of the stuff, once you put it down, because there's so much junk around, it wouldn't det re-detect it. So, hence why there's a dinner tray in the hallway. That's the bathroom. That's the uh, bedroom, I guess. I decided to switch it around a little bit and do something a little bit different with these two rooms so there's the dinner tray there I could not move that because it was detecting all the junk on the floor and just wouldn't detect that so I just left it there so I've made the bathroom into a bedroom easy to do just put a rug down and a couple of sleeping bags and pillows and you're good not much more going on there I was getting a bit of a weird light in there getting a bit blurry and in here it's this is just his junk room this is where he keeps all his best junk scavenged junk in here uh, nice and secure so I hope you've enjoyed this one guys a bit different no build real building in this one as such um, I, did, I didn't show you the building because it's just basically putting walls in and whatnot it's much more decorating but I wanted to put this out just to give you some ideas and hopefully answer a few questions so thanks for supporting the channel thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you next time on Gaming for XP. See ya!